Fly ball, deep right center field. If Ken Griffey Jr. never hits a home run in a Reds uniform, it wouldn't be surprised that this kid does get it and is interested in home and family. In 1990, his dad hooked up with him in Seattle to become the first father-son combo in baseball history. Go to any ballpark and you'll see that fans get that, too. Players coming. Ken Griffey Jr.'s likely return has people buying season tickets and talking about baseball in February like they haven't since his father played here. Excited that he's coming back. It brings back memories. Um, glad he's coming home. His dad's here, and, and it just—it's uh, happy. It makes us happy. It's great news. I'm a big fan of Ken Griffey Jr. Why? Because he's a really good baseball player. If the lines at the ticket windows didn't tell you something had changed here, if the lines to buy tickets at the Westin didn't suggest the Reds' energy equation had been fundamentally altered, you only needed to be at a place like Willie's Sports Cafe in Covington tonight. Scott and Vicki Aaron of Westchester spent a very special night watching Junior come home. Our first date was the Cincinnati Reds game. And then the year we got married, the Reds won the World Series in 1990. And now tonight, exactly tonight, is our 10-year anniversary, and we got Griffey. All eyes were glued to TV monitors as Junior took the podium and made a lasting and very positive first impression. Yes, definitely. He presented himself very well, and I'm very happy to have him back in Cincinnati. And made longtime fans happy to see a legacy continued and just maybe a dynasty created. I think it's really exciting. I enjoyed watching Ken Griffey Sr. and I can't wait. And I think it'll just make the team. I think they get an all-star. They're going to get a home run hitter and, and uh, the Reds are on track. We're going to get a new stadium in a couple of years. We're going to start rolling.